Rise and shine. Hey, hey. <laughs> so I woke up to this amazing view. I just opened my door of my van this morning to get out and I just was reminded again of the incredible spot that I am camping at, Lake Awunga or Awunga Dam. And uh, this dam was actually um, made in the 1940s and then the lake um, the lake was made from the dam so and uh, how magic is it so I'm gonna have a coffee and then I'm going to get on my bike and do a little bit of exploring happy coffee time so this is lookout number two the Wonga Dam and that the dam walls are about 53 meters high and they provide all the water for the Gladstone region. And I'm going to take a walk. There's a walking trail down here, I guess to the lake. I've just ridden my bike down here. It's all locked up. I'm going to take a walk down here. We are at Castle Tower Lookout on Lake Awunga. I have to find out why it's called Castle Tower. There must be a castle here somewhere. Okay, so I've discovered that uh, the reason why it's called Castle Tower is that's the name of the national park here in Gladstone. So it's called Castle Tower National Park. And uh, it's a protected area. Um, you can't bring pets into this area. There's something biting my foot right now. Some big giant ant. <laughs> and I get allergic to those things. I'll swell up quick oh yeah there's a lot of ants around here I better move <laughs> yeah so that's why it's called Castle Tower I've got my trusty stick because there's magpies swooping on me all over the place here so wave this around and they get scared off hopefully <laughs> so on my bike ride up here to um, it's called Castle Tower on Lake Kawunga uh, there were wallabies all the way up the hill. Some were just lying around trying to cool off under shade, under the eucalyptus trees in the shade. Baby ones. Joey's. Mama, dada ones. So amazing. Hopefully I can get uh, a little bit closer to them. 
a little baby wallaby. Well, that's mummy. Here's a daddy, I think, coming around, making sure that family's safe. Of course, that. Oh, that's on me. done a lovely ride, bike ride, around Lake Awunga and down to the lookouts, lookout number two at the Awunga Dam and also at the Castle Tower lookout. And I'm hungry, so I'm going to make some breakfast. Check out this view. Absolutely magic. All right, let's get some food. It's uh, just after 11, so I try not to eat before kind of 11 or 12 in the day. Sometimes I'll even wait till about 1. So that fasting is really good. And um, you can work out as well, some strawberries. If you can work out before you eat, your glycogen levels are at their lowest and you're gonna burn more fat than any other time of the day. So if you're wanting to get lean and build muscle, exercising and working out in the morning is the best time to do it. It's also when we're feeling probably the most energized. So some banana and strawberries. Blueberries. Great antioxidant. Chuck some of them in there. Yamo. almonds and check some almonds in here great source of protein helps us build muscle and I've got this YoPro yogurt which has um, 15 grams of protein and um, no sugar so um, it's no added sugar and um, it tastes delicious. This is a strawberry, and I just squeeze it on top of my fruit. More. And I use a little bit of almond and coconut milk. Pour that on top, a little bit, just a tiny bit. Yum. Yum oh. Get it in ya. This is a life. Stuff. It's looking a little bit uh, messy, but uh, I've got uh, some editing to do and some rehearsals for my show, so that's what happens. Working on the road. So you can see that I have uh, some uh, things organised for my show, which is the Resilient Rockstar Show in Monto, which is about, 
I believe an hour's drive, maybe a little less, from here, from Lake Awonga, or Dam Awonga. So I've got um, my stage prompts, I have uh, my script, I've got uh, the sandbags to hold my banners in case it gets windy because I'm in a marquee. I've got my banners under there, I've got my hula hoop, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm all pretty much set. I've got some books in the front seat, you can see it's a little bit messy at the moment, and a whole pile of props in that bag. I'm super excited to be on the stage again just in a few days, so this beautiful spot just is going to enable me to have some peace, some tranquility, and so it gives me the opportunity to rehearse and uh, get my show all ready for Saturday and uh, get in the mind, get in the right mindset for a, an amazing show that hopefully will inspire a lot of beautiful children in the audience and maybe some adults too. There's Van Halen, the beast, all set up on Lake Awunga and uh, getting lots of sun on the solar panel, but I'm actually plugged in as well. Uh, I've just turned it off because uh, it's fully charged. It's fully charged, so there's no need for that. And uh, there's a view. So uh, I'm going to go down to the lake in an hour or so and uh, I'm going to take a bit of a picnic, I think, for dinner and watch the sunset. So I've just walked down to Awunga Lake 
for the sunset. And uh, I'm literally, I don't know, it might be 200 metres from the campsite where I have uh, set up for a few days before my Resilient Rockstar show. And oh my gosh, there are all these wallabies right around me. It's amazing. But look at the sunset in the background. Isn't that just amazing? Magic. Thank you. 